opening faceoff for the home opener, Yanni Gord and Wa of Vegas and sit back and enjoy this one. Off the draw now. Yanni Gord peppered by William Carrier. In front they score! It's Keegan Kolasar. Ten seconds in, Kolasar has scored and the Vegas Golden Knights get the early jump. It'll be on the near side, right inside the blue line and Yanni Gord has an opportunity. So he's trying to move this puck but he fans on it. And then Carrier moves his puck over to Kolasar and 12 seconds in JT. No opportunity for Jones to make a stop. That's yeah, definitely not the way you want to start the period. It looks like Borgen and Yanni did have a little bit of a collision there. He'll move it by Jordan Everly. Brett Howden on the wall for Vegas. Cut off a bit by Justin Schultz. An outnumbered chance. Petrangelo with Stevenson. His shot fought off and covered by Martin Jones. Good back check there by Yanni Gord. The former captain of the St. Louis Blues and a, a teammate of Vince Dunn and Jaden Schwartz there when they, they won a cup in 2019. Petrangelo to the outside, Nick Waugh right out in front, they score! Jonathan Marcheseau! And the Golden Knights make it look easy. It's a power play goal. They have a 2 nothing lead. Two players going for body checks. First Borgen, then with uh, Gord, but allows Vegas to pick up the puck. Three guys going to the net. Susie doesn't know whether to go to the player with the puck. Cover the back door with Marcia So. And again, it's too many options for Vegas. One mistake on the wall, and it's in the back of the net. Yeah, odd man situations in there. Susie thought about staying home. Cut off in the back check by Gord. Here's Everly. Yanni Gord, Jordan Everly. All the way across. Tandem right on. And a glove save by Hayden Hill. They have outshot Vegas five to one. In the last few minutes, they surrendered two goals in the first five shots to Vegas. Nick Waugh off the outside of the goal post. Low to high play, Jamie Oleksiak, Justin Schultz. Shot tipped, good save by Hill. Nice tip by Gord. It goes off the posterior side of Ketzel. Gord got tossed, but Yanni Gord, when he's on the ice, he's going to go to the high traffic areas and makes a beautiful redirect. Nice right pad save there by Aiden Hill. But again, the walk to getting inside of a tired player and Alex Petrangelo. We'll kick off our coverage with crack and pregame presented by Coors Light at 630. Shea Theodore, Nick Waugh. He won 13 of 21 faceoffs Thursday night. Here he is out in front, taken down, and a penalty will be called on Vince Dunn. Shot. And it's a penalty shot. Chandler Stevenson staring down Martin Jones. He goes wide, shut down, Jones with a kick save, and it stays 2-0. You like the pace coming in fast. He's trying to go on that low blocker side. Jones gets out to the top of the crease, though. Good timing, getting back, staying square to that shot and being able to put it down. Great save by Jones. Two on one with Stone. Howden, Stone right in, stopped again and loose at the side of the goal. McCracken survived that one. Situation issues back in the first period and Vegas has got a couple here in the second. Howden to Stone. Marcia so broken up by Larson. Here's McCann and now Matty Beneers. They crisscross. Beneers. Back heat, good back check by Kessel and a spring pass for Carrier. He'll bust in, shut down again by Martin Jones. Good pressure by Schultz. Can't be trying to pass the puck back the other way. And here comes Carrier. Look at Schultz. Forces him to the forehand. Martin Jones has made what? Four eight plus saves in this in the second period. Another power play, a critical kill here for Seattle. Power move, Marcia so they follow it up. Riley Smith. Napping on the near side. The second power play goal tonight for Vegas. This one with 6.05 left in the second period. They lead it 3 0. Stone's going to drop off and be that option, but directly takes it to the net. Even though Alexiak is able to block that puck, you have Smith on the backside waiting for this puck. Not a whole lot that Jones can do there. You're expecting that shot from Stone up over the glove. You have to have quick reaction, but they wasted zero time. Stone was taking that puck to the net with or without the play on. Just about 17 minutes gone in the second period. Chandler Stevenson now will take it back through center. Marcheseau marching in. 
A shot for the short side, sneaks home. That's a tough one. Jonathan Marcheseau, his second goal tonight, 4 0, Vegas. Never a bad play to just get the puck at the net and from just an absolute nasty angle. I mean, almost at the goal line. It looks like this puck goes in between the hip and the glove, and the glove is wrapped around the post. Oh, right in there. I, I mean, it's a bad goal. Petrangelo looks for a trailer. He's got one. Fanned on by Kessel. Now Eichel out in front. It careens to the corner. Here's Petrangelo. He'll move it. 23 seconds left in the second period. Kessel looks to the slot. Spots Theodore. He scores. Shea Theodore from well out. First goal of his season. 16.5 seconds left in the second. Vegas is able to clear the zone, go to work below the goal line. And I'm not sure if this changes direction off of Matty Beneers, but the shot, yeah, it doesn't look like it. Looks like it just goes right under the stick. Like to see Matty go down there, get in a block. You're not going to have it, but you know, how, how do you find a way to be able to gather some points when you don't have it? Well, that's going to be the, the big 40, thing about going I mean, to Monday, though, well, right? You sure, have to the, recover. The 40 games. Here's Schultz. He scores! Yeah. Justin Schultz with his first goal as a Seattle Kraken with 6.41 left in the third period. And have more highs than lows, but a good entry into the zone. Barakowski, Eberly moves through the middle of the ice he draws Alec Martinez I'm not sure where Martinez was going on that particular play but he pulls it right by the glove of Aiden Hill home on the other side wow so he said he was going to take that home and put it up on the wall somewhere Burkowski chipped in Jaden Schwartz on a beautiful play it's another power with 3.43 left. That Dave Hackstall, once they get possession of the puck, you're down three, obviously. There's only 3.43 left to go. You take your chances. And look at that beautiful pass from Andre Burakovsky to Jaden Schwartz. Good, strong bottom hand as he gets hit from behind from his former teammate in St. Louis with the blue. Yes, yeah, this is nasty. far from over. Three seconds on the clock, but the boys will get together at the horn and we'll see if any scores are settled here.